So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run through this and add in any additional details I think that could work. So that includes extra stairs that add a bit more sense to these spaces that we're creating. Um, I'm going to play about with adding a few perhaps props. So maybe some window boxes, maybe some curtains in this doorway. And I'm also going to play about with adding in some trees. So that's what this is going to represent for now. And then what we can do is we can take a render and we can begin doing our concept over paint. So I'm just going to play around with the placement of these domes. I really liked in my Pinterest board how it felt with all the foliage around in this particular one. Um, so I think it would be really nice if the buildings are kind of nestled in amongst green bushes. So I'm just going to see how that looks. This might be too big to start, but um, we can just downsize these pieces until we get a composition that works. And that's all I'm thinking about at the moment is just how the image is going to look from a compositional point of view. So these stairs need to be accessible, obviously, if someone were to walk up it. So I suppose as well as composition, I'm thinking about functionality as well. Kind of need it to make sense. So perhaps this could go behind here. And I think this could be taller. And perhaps pushed even further behind. I mean, the bushes don't have to be perfectly rounded. So I'm going to push that in there. I can always play about with the shapes once I come to overpainting. So this just gives me the general forms and how things might light. And I'm just going to look now at having sort of some middle sized kind of bushes. Perhaps a bit more rounded now. I can always just make this stuff up as well when it comes to painting. Um, once we've got the sort of general shapes of things, it's it's kind of okay to just play about with placements in a more kind of abstract sense in 2D space. I'm gonna duplicate some stairs. really messily. And I'm just going to use these for where the stairs would continue up towards that big central building. could just do to pull out a little bit so that there's it's a walkable space if someone were to walk on it just remove remove that excess bit of mesh there that we obviously don't want okay I'm 
going to push this back so that we have that platform at the front as well and I'm just going to I'm not going to model them in but I will paint in some stairs when it comes to concepting um, so that there is a way up to this and I think I can just sort of paint that in myself so that's fine and if not I'll just come back and model some in um, what's going on with this I think we can just extend this back so that there is some base behind the scene as well, like that. And let's just collapse all of these pieces I've added and quickly attach them and just export them. just re-import them in and see how it looks okay this is looking good I'm liking where this is going now um, I'm not quite sure about this leaning out so far here I think this um, I think if we want to get some more rhythm to the shapes this very large sort of almost disc shape doesn't quite match the taller shapes of these two bushes so I think I will just increase the height of that and reduce the sort of width of it. So pull it in like that. And I think that will work nicer with the rest of the shapes I already have. But I'm also going to endeavour to have it a different scale to the other two. So larger than this one, but smaller than this one. So we get some nice size variation. And I'll re-export that. still be a bit bigger okay See now I think I made it too big because it almost perfectly matches the scale of this one and that is a little bit jarring so I'm going to bring it down and I'm just going to move it a little bit further behind here and I think that might do it. process can can be quick or slow as it is being currently in my case sometimes things just don't feel right and if you don't get it to feel right at this stage then quite often it won't feel right when you get to the painting stage so it's always good to re uh, to address these things now I think what's happening is the everything is kind of leaning off the edge of the scene right now so it doesn't feel cohesive because it feels like this is about to tip off the edge so the whole thing just needs pulling in so that it doesn't feel quite so imbalanced So I'm just trying to create a balanced scene so it doesn't feel like anything is going to fall off the uh, sort of platform I've created and so that there's nothing too jarring scale wise. So from around the back this kind of is a bit big perhaps. So I might just pull that in if you look at it from the back. Um, I think we could just 
basically squeeze that shape. And if we have tree trunk coming in, I think that'll be quite nice. Okay, so I'm happy with those general shapes. See, even when we're viewing it from up here, it feels doesn't feel like anything is trying to fall off of the platform. So we've got it feeling relatively balanced from all angles. And that's just me trying to sort of compose and design the space so that it's not unbalanced. Even if we only end up concepting it from say this angle, we now have a 3D block out that you could also hand over to um, a 3D modeler and that saves them tons of time because they now have this block out to work around, um, which is another reason that working in 3D is really helpful. Like if you're trying to create a concept uh, for yourself as well, you've got this block out now with all your proportions sorted out and you don't have to worry about faffing around with things that aren't quite fitting together, even though in the concept it seems to make sense. So I'm now going to just add in uh, the sort of details that um, I might need to aid me while I'm uh, doing my overpaint. So that might be detailing on the buildings, uh, the tree trunks, uh, any perhaps pots or anything around the scene uh, and just get a more finalised block out and then we'll be ready to overpaint. While I work on making the details for my 3D block out, I'm going to make sure that I have my Pinterest board open to my right. And that just means I can draw inspiration from it as I go. Um, I'm going to start out by, I think, making... I said I wouldn't, but I think I'm going to add some stairs going up to this front door, just so I don't have to deal with making the perspective and so on for myself. So I'm just going to go in and really messily just cut out some space. some stairs Doing it messy like this just means I can play about with shapes as well in a very non-committal way. So I kind of like the idea of having the stairs curve up. would be on a kind of angle as well as it leads up to the building. Just bring that around. Okay. And then I can just Pull these up. Sort of just put them into the space that I created. Okay. So I've got some stuff. 
stairs going up. I'm just going to select everything here and clear the smoothing groups. Let it auto smooth. Uh, next, I will make some rudimentary plant pots. I'm avoiding going into any depth in terms of detail because I don't want the concept to become overcomplicated, especially if it was for some sort of top down game. Any level of detail is just going to get lost anyway. So this is about as small as I will go. Oh, And again, I'm just going to repeat elements. So I've used that pot twice there and I'll also use it over here. Because if there was thousands of totally different pots all over the place, you wouldn't know where to look. You want the eye to you want to simplify the amount of detail for the viewer. Otherwise, there'll be too much to manage for the person looking. And it just would become overwhelming to look at. When the idea of this concept is really just to get an idea across as quickly as possible. Definitely not to overwhelm the person that's looking at it. Elements of detail and sort of decoration here. more pots. I haven't thought yet about what I plan on doing in terms of um, say colours, what plants I will put in this uh, in this case. Um, that's something that I will do a bit more intensively shortly. So I will think about as I start to concept, I will consider what colours I want things to be, uh, therefore what plants I will be researching to put in this. Um, we will use, I will use plants that basically work best for the colour palette that I'm going for. This is going to act as my bell for now in the bell tower. I 
think we could perhaps get away with putting some stuff on the inside of the uh, the main building because it's so simple um, such a small building we could maybe hide it in shadow when it comes to painting but um, for now we can just maybe put like a table in there or some sort of workbench thinking perhaps the main tower could be a bit wider so I'm just going to pull it out like that might be a bit more chunky and interesting if it doesn't work I'll just rescale it back down let's take a look at I think in terms of um, making the roof of this be broken like I was initially planning I think that might be a little bit too much information so maybe we could just break open the front of it so you can actually see inside because if I have everything made of like uh, wood struts it might be a little bit too much sort of silhouetted information it might be a bit overwhelming so I'm just gonna cut out here And just create a sort of cutaway. Like I said, super simple, don't want to do too much right now. Have a look at how this looks in Unreal Engine. Just got to keep remember. Just got to remember to keep moving between the two. Ah, better already. See now we're starting to get detail in there that we didn't have before. It's starting to feel like an actual scene. Something that's definitely overpaintable now. going to put a plane in a base plane um, just so I'm not distracted by what's going on underneath all the dirty geometry that I've put in under them so I think if we stop it there and I'm just gonna extend that out I look at it from up here 
you don't have any problems with this plane getting in the way. And we could also play about with this shadow casting. Uh, if we get some interesting silhouettes in the shadows, I think that'll be really nice to work with too. Just going to extend the plane a little bit. So we're starting to get what looks like the beginnings of a concept. I'm going to create some tree trunks. With a tree trunk, I will either use uh, splines or in this case, because we're going quite simple. I'll just add a cylinder and drag the points around. So we have the trunk start sort of here. And we'll just have it bend out. This isn't based on any particular tree right now, but you could look into what it could be based on once you've got a shape you like, rather than deciding beforehand what the tree will be and trying to design it around a specific species. Create your own design and then adapt what the tree is to that and then you can be a bit more free in what you create just give these two a trunk I think the other two uh, the other sort of more bushy trees will be fine might be too much detail and I'm reusing the trunk from the other tree because it sort of has a shape already that I like we can get nice repetitive shapes beginning to get something that I'm happy with. I'm just going to look through here and see if there's anything I'm maybe missing. I think I'll pull out some of these shrubs because I haven't quite decided where the diorama will actually end for this concept. I haven't quite decided where the concept is sort of going to end because I don't just want to stop it with like a square platform or something. So I'm just going to put some of these around here because I'm trying to create a nice looking image as well as a usable concept. canopy could be nice. I imagine if this is based in the desert it's probably quite hot. So I'm just going to make some struts for a canopy to go up here. I'm 
I'm going to try and make it a slightly interesting kind of shape. So I'm going to have it come around the corner, which means I'll have to move this pot out of the way. Just to there. might not work because it could be that it hides the door which I don't necessarily want but it's worth experimenting with these things especially with such a quick method there's no harm in just testing out having something like this because it gives you having areas of say fabric like this it gives you the opportunity to um, work with more color than you may Otherwise, for me, having interesting colors is a big part of creating the appeal of a concept, especially for something more sort of stylized or something that's going to be viewed from a distance. You want quite rich colours that draw the eye. interested in the idea of having perhaps it have a peak in the middle it's kind of nice so before I do anything else I'm just gonna very quickly attach it and export it and if it doesn't work I'll delete it. I think it works, but we I want to make the canopy smaller. So I'm going to remove this section in the foreground and just have it over the door like so. And I'm just going to make it a bit chunkier so we get some nice highlights on the edges. So that the door is still visible, having the canopy actually the way up here. Because I don't really want to lose the nice simple silhouette of the um, of the front door. Because I may add some details around the door that kind of draw the eye in, like tiles or something. And if if they're lost. Yeah, I think that's kind of interesting. I'm going to go with that. So now I can still work with the door. Okay. I'm going to call this my 3D block out now. I 
think we're going to go for a scene sort of from maybe here. So I'm just going to grab my light source. Wherever it's gone. There it is. And I'm just going to do one more test of the lighting position. So we can move it around. And see if there's anything we like. That's what it was like before. So I think we could definitely get something more interesting. 